guys, this is Zuri Sadi. So I'm here with a new video. This one is the most long awaited video. Uh, kind of tutorial. So watch this video till the end. It will be helpful for your acting skills, I'm sure. So here we go. As you can see in the video, I started with roughly drawing sketch of Mavis hair. The way I start making my art is super unprofessional, you can say it might be your way of drawing. But I'll suggest you to make the whole sketch of your picture you want to draw. Basically, the artwork was completed in 7 hours, so that was impossible to show everything, but this video will give you an idea. So the main brushes I used in completing this drawing was dip pen, airbrush triangle 60%, airbrush normal, and for making hairs, round brushes. <laughs> This character's face look bit different in animation. I draw her face in my style by drawing normal human type nose, lips, shade and eyes too. But a big bigger like real character because I don't want to change her originality of the face. When it comes to selection color for shading and brightness, always move dark color to light color with the same tone. I generally prefer to work in drawing by selection area. It's always worked incredibly perfect for managing the color mess outside of your character you're working on. Some people use alpha lock or clipping but honestly I never ever use it. You may use it if you want. And my sister always suggests me to never make any artwork in a hurry. So I would also suggest you to give your art a proper time to make it perfect. It really doesn't matter how fast you draw or how much time you take to complete it. But the outcome should satisfy you. But even after knowing all of that, I prepare my arts in a hurry sometimes and forgot to draw some detailing that always make me feel frustrated and I start depressing myself. So overall, for preventing all that, work with peace, not in a hurry. I hope you are carefully watching this video, like the way I use color and shading only by using airbrush that would be simple to understand i guess if you have any doubt you can drop your question in the comment box i'll surely answer it
before this video i was working on a tutorial video but i accidentally deleted those clips but the data is retrieved now so i'll try to post it soon that drawing i have made in november and for december that video will help you by giving an idea of shapes and shading of a particular area I told you about my brushes for this drawing but I really like to use different brushes and different artwork as it needed. Your brushes selection is always really very important that gives your drawing a unique style, your own style. So if you really want to learn it, put some brushes in your favorite list for building up your own style. After shading a particular portion, don't forget to add the dark lines for a particular portion. I saw some drawing they make picture like super perfect, but forgot to draw the outlines in shading manner that make a drawing like really very beautiful. So yeah, don't forget it. Pick those dragon wings from my avikin. I cropped it and draw the outlines and shading it with red color like vampire wings. So that make her look bit different, but not so much. She's a cute vampire like me. <laughs> so those were looking quite cute. When you fill color in selection area, your drawing edge looks sharp. You may leave it like that, but I remove it a little bit by using airbrush 60% in my rubber. Have patience, keep practicing. That will give you your own kind of perfection. The background I use in my picture, that is also from Avakin. So this is it. Hopefully this video is helpful to you in some kind of way. If that video will get some good response from all of you, I'll try to post more videos like this, more tutorial in a better way. So if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.